Warning, as indicated by the title, this video includes the topic of animal extinction. It does not contain explicit material, but may be triggering for sensitive viewers. Parental guidance is suggested. The planet Earth is home to a wide ecosystem of nature. All over the world, life flourishes in a variety of forms, from the sea, to the forest, to the desert. However, with this life comes the threat of being wiped out. Since the dinosaurs, the possibility of being erased from existence has been a common phenomenon with many of Earth's animal species. More than 14 billion years into our existence, that phenomenon is now synonymous with 10 different species of animal, all of which are decreasing in population numbers as a result of human activity. They will be presented to you now as the 10 animals that are going extinct. Amur leopards are a rare subspecies of leopard that live in the temperate forests of northeastern China. Presently, the population of these leopards is approximately 84. These small numbers come from a variety of factors, the main one being poaching. Poachers have long targeted them for their soft, spotted fur, and this targeting poses a threat to their existence. Black rhinos are notorious for being constantly under threat from poachers. For years, they have been hunted down for their horns, which have been collected and sold in multiple illegal trades. This trade has decreased the rhino population to less than 6,000 individuals, 20 times less than the number of rhinos that existed in the 1960s. Conservation efforts have been mandated in Africa to protect black rhinos and their horns from poachers, but poaching continues to occur. Orangutans are apes whose cognitive abilities are sophisticated enough to make them human. While these orangutans are still in existence, forest burning and hunting have destroyed their habitats and threatened their livelihoods. As a result of fires and hunting, their population has been reduced to around 100,000 individuals, half the number that existed 60 years ago. Gorillas share 98.3% of their DNA with humans. They are capable of feeling emotions and can even laugh. These gorillas are also open to poaching. The most critically endangered species, the Cross River gorillas, are currently at a population of less than 300 individuals. Hawksbill sea turtles are essential to the health of coral reefs as they feed on unwanted sponges that live on them. This gives them a source of food as well as a habitat to thrive in. As a result of these coral reefs dying out, hawksbill turtles experience shortages of access to food and subsequently undergo starvation. Additionally, they are threatened by hunters who harvest them for their shells. Shells are their most distinguished feature, noted for their sharp, jagged edges and detailed color patterns. These color patterns make them a desirable target for jewelry and ornaments. First discovered in 1992, Sayolas are one of the rarest species of mammal on Earth. Commonly spotted in the evergreen forests of north-central Vietnam, these antelope-like creatures are recognized by their long pointy horns and large brawny muzzles. They are an evasive and hard-to-find species, so hard to find that finding a sayola has been compared to finding a unicorn. Because of their rarity, conservationists consider them a species in need of protection from threats to their habitat. These threats include cutting down the forests to make way for agriculture and infrastructure, which drives sayolas into small living spaces and leaves them more vulnerable to hunting. Sumatran elephants are the smallest subspecies of Asian elephant, which in the last few years has become a critical dilemma. Like the Sayola, Sumatran elephants have lost living space as a result of deforestation to make way for agriculture and infrastructure. This has taken away food, which has led to searches for new food. Oftentimes, they find food in the plantations that replaced their habitat, which they subsequently raid. This has led to increased human-elephant conflicts, which at times have resulted in elephants being killed. Sundas are most distinguished by their thick black stripes. 
a feature that has made them adept at camouflaging with light reflections on the forest floor. However, less forest area has given them less spots to blend into, making them less adept at stalking prey and more vulnerable to poaching. Additionally, they too come into contact with humans, the habitat destruction forcing them out of living spaces and into human-occupied areas. The resulting human-tiger conflicts have led to deaths of both humans and tigers. Presently, the Sunda tiger population is less than 400. Vaquitas are a small-sized species of porpoise native to the Gulf of California. Only 10 of them exist, making their species highly susceptible to extinction. The Gulf of California is a prominent fisheries region for Mexico, and fishing boats are frequent there. These fishing boats have unintentionally threatened vaquitas by catching them in their fishing nets, tangling them up and causing them to drown. These fishing nets are now banned in favor of vaquita safe fishing equipment out of concern for vaquita safety. However, the small population size still puts them at risk. Yangtze finless porpoises are found along the Yangtze River located in China. They are small in size and noted for their curved mouth shape, giving them the appearance of smiling. They are also integral to their environment's health, for they thrive on eating fish that would otherwise overpopulate the river and throw the food chain out of balance. However, fishing, which is a common practice on the Yangtze River, takes these fish away from porpoises and decreases their food supply. Boating which is also common on the Yangtze River, complicates things further by causing run-ins with porpoises that leave them injured and causing pollution to the river. These two issues are two of the same issues that led to the extinction of the Baiji dolphin, a cousin of the finless porpoise that also resided in the Yangtze. Without efforts to eliminate overfishing and maintain porpoise safety, Yangtze finless porpoises may undergo the same phenomenon as their cousins. Extinction has been an environmental phenomenon for thousands of years, and it will continue to be so. That's not to say that nothing can be done about it. As these ten species indicate, human actions have been a contributing factor, if not cause, to these animals facing extinction. Likewise, human actions can prevent or at least hinder animals from facing extinction. Given the resources, research, and reason, it is not impossible to make a difference to Earth's animal populations. Wanting to learn about and loving animals is a helpful part of making this difference. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can watch more of our top 10 lists about animals and witness nature being absolutely phenomenal.